right, it's time to move our bodies. I am so happy you're here with me today for our full body workout. We're gonna incorporate in cardio, weights, and core today. I have with me a pair of three pounds. You can use from three pounds, five pounds, whatever you're used to working with, kind of in a nice moderate zone. And I have a mat and of course some water. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're just gonna ground through our feet. Let's take a deep breath in. Okay, just push into your feet. Get that nice up stretch with a slight tuck through your tailbone to open back and then exhale, slow release. Again, inhale and exhale. Good. Let's go ahead and reach our arms up and we're just going to start with a little mountain climber or ladder climb. Okay, it's really taking this time to feel your waist stretching, that alternating knee bend. We can start to drive the elbow down a little bit further to get our side body stretch and those hands open. Let's do four more. And three, two, and one. And then push into both feet, lift your arms up, breathe in and breathe out to release. Good, big shoulder rolls. And we're just gonna start to tap our feet lightly. Good, and reverse those shoulder rolls. Excellent. Now we're just gonna do a squat and reach. This really starts to open up your back, to open up the front of your hips as you add that little pivot and squeeze. Again, your whole body is rotating together as one. Let's do eight more right here. Good. Now we're just going to hold it to one side and we're just going to open up through our arm. Okay, get that nice deep stretch. Okay, and we're standing tall, our belly's drawing in. Let's do one more and let's do five on the other side. So five and four, three, two, and one into our side to side lunge. So again, just feel that nice long spine, that tall posture. And we're starting to bring the weight into our heels. That's it. Breathe in, breathe out. Side to side lunges. Let's do four more. Four and three, two. Sitting back into your seat, one. And then bring it back to your center. God, let's go ahead and step it in. We're going to go right into some alternating rear lunges. And this is such a great one just to challenge your core to stabilize as you add these big movements of our arms and legs. So again, just keep that nice six and 12 o'clock. Breathing into lunge, exhale, push off that front heel to bring you up. Again, just keep that knee nice and centered right over your ankle. Okay, we're just gonna do four more each side. And three, two, and one. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and bring our left leg back, our right leg's forward. We're gonna do a triple pulse. One, two, three, drive it up. One, two, three, drive it up. One, two, three. Now we can start to add a little bit of twist towards that leg to challenge our balance and to continue to stretch out. Breathe in, two, three, bring it up. One, two, three, bring it up. Just gonna do a couple more here. Last one. Keep that front foot nice and firm. Now step it back. Go ahead and lengthen out through your back leg. Try to push that back heel down as you draw your belly in and tuck. Inhale. Now as you exhale, go ahead and bring it forward. Then you can either lock your thumbs or just keep your hands forward. Root those shoulders. Knee drive. Knee drive. Okay, so we're tucking our tailbone, we're firing up that back glute every time we tap our toes down. Keep that front knee nice and stable. Now let's add a little C-shaped curve right here. C-shaped neutral. Shh, shh. Feel our abs drawing everything into stretch. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and step it in. Good job. Let's do a little side step here. Just a little side shoulder raise side steps. And cats bend our knees, get low, and land soft. That's it, warming up those shoulders. We have four and three. You can always add a light little hop. And two and one. All right, we're going to go ahead and bring it to that other side for our lunges. So that triple lunge. So step it back, 
right leg, stand tall. Get that nice drawing in of your belly. I'm gonna go one, two, three, drive it up. One. Good, as I'm alive, just add that tap. And keep focusing on that front heel, that front glute doing the work. Two, three, bring it up. One, two, three, bring it up. And then when you're ready, add the next level into it, you can start to add that rotation. To make it easier, just look forward. One, two, three. More challenge, look to the side. Just like anything you're doing where you're incorporating in balance, you want to get that focus spot. Front leg is stable and you're twisting your upper body. Let's do a couple more here. Fire up that back glute. One, two, three. Lift, now hold. Okay, you've got that tuck. We'll get all that great stretch through your hips. Let's lengthen out our leg. Getting all that release. Open, breathe in, breathe out. Squaring those hips forward. Now into your knee drives, bring that weight forward and drive it up, drive it up. And get into those abs right here. Keep it going. Eight, seven, six, five. Squeeze your glute. Four, three, two, one. And step it in. Awesome. Back to those side steps. Now we're just going to transition the arms into an up stretch. Let's do it together. Step together, reach. That's it. Now again, get low is your next option. Powering up through those quads and those legs. Good, four more. Four, and three, and two, and one. Good, cross it over. This really helps to stretch out the hips. And getting that nice rotation through your upper body. Getting our heart rate up, most importantly. God, let's do eight more here. Can't think about landing lightly. That's gonna control that eccentric contraction, bringing your foot down. Okay, both directions are important. Let's just do a couple more each side. Excellent. All right, from here, we're gonna go into our side lunges again. So we're just gonna stand centered, okay? We're gonna lunge it off to one side. We're gonna come up. And then we're gonna do a nice little leg lift and reach our arms out. So side lunge, bring it up, lift, lower. Side lunge, come up, lift, lower. Keep that rhythm now. Really focus in on those toes, staying forward and down. Lead with that outer heel. Now start to add a balance challenge right here. Okay, we're gonna balance, lift, toes down, heel up, balance, bring it back. Keep that outer foot of your support leg rooted. Let's just slow down and breathe with it. Breathe in, breathe out. Getting that focus spot. Breathe in, breathe out. Let's do a couple more. Keeping that nice tall posture. Last one right here. To the other side. So side lunge. Bring it up, lift, turn those toes down. Okay, bring it up. Lower, lift, optional balance, open. Good, now this, this time let's make sure thumbs are up. So palms are forward, toes are down, get that nice reach. Good, inhale and more. Challenge your depth. Challenge your balance. And this is your workout. Be mindful. That's it. Last one. Breathe in and breathe. Let's go right into curtsy alternating lunges. Continue to fire up through the glutes. And again, you can always add just a light hop. Just keeping that nice tall posture and your hips forward. That's it. Again, push off that front heel. We have eight and seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and 
center. God, and now just front kicks, front kicks. So a couple more little cardio moves here. Again, send those hips back, tall spine, toes straight up. We have eight. Really get that rotation through your upper body here. God, four more. Three, power kicks, two, one. Excellent. All right, let's finish off here. Squat, hamstring curl. Squat, hand curl. Now keep your knee down, drawing your belly in with a nice little tuck so there's no movement through your lower back. All that energy through your foot flexing. Good, you can always go a little quicker. And now we can add doubles into it. Double. That's it, keep that rhythm going. We have four more right here. Four, three, and two, and one. Back to that side step. Scissor arms. And we are done with our cardio section. So good job on that. Hopefully you're feeling warmed up. Heart rate's up. I know mine is. Again, you know when you're out of zone and it's a little bit more difficult for you to breathe. You're in that really good kind of fat burning zone. You're challenging your heart rate, you're challenging your body, and that's gonna help you get stronger. So let's take a quick water break, and then we're gonna grab our weights, and we're gonna go into our weight segment. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pick up our two pounds of weight. All right, we're gonna go back into that lunge. So right foot forward, left leg back. All right, so from here, we're gonna go ahead and just start to press that back heel down. Lower down here and get to that strong lunge. Again, just feel yourself standing really tall. Back heel is pushing down to balance that forward energy and we're gonna pull. Now again, if this is too much for the back, you know, lift it up higher. Okay, but again, let's challenge ourselves with these little lighter weights to get that depth and to keep pushing into that back heel to stretch it out. Inhale, exhale. Keep those front toes pretty light. Inhale, exhale. Now let's do five wide. So palms back and let's pull it. High dasher and pull it. Lay down, buddy. Okay, we have one more. And now we're gonna just face the palms towards one another and come up nice and tall. Good, now step it in. Okay, now we're gonna go into our rear fly and leg lift. So let's take a moment here. You can always modify keeping the foot down, but most of the weight on that front leg and go into your flies. Okay, otherwise, we're gonna lift the leg, add in a nice little hinge, square your hips, and have your toes and knee facing down. So we're breathing into prep, strong back, exhale to lift. Breathing in, now you can start to add, a tap, and a lift. Just take your time, get a nice little soft bend through that support leg, breathing into lower, Exhale to lift, keep that energy shining, reaching in all directions. Just a few more here. And two, and one. Now just hold it right here. Four, three, two, one. Step it back and a little kick out. Again, your whole body is working with that, which is what I love so much. So we're gonna do that same series on the other side. So left foot forward, right leg back. Get that nice little hinge here. Nice long arms, breathe in, breathe out. We're gonna pull. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, pull. Good, one more. Keep squaring those hips forward, pushing that back heel down. Now palms face you, pull it back. Our wide lap, pull up that extra little hold at the top. Feel that squeeze. Last two, last one. All right, face your palms towards one another. Bring it up, okay? So challenge your balance, whatever that is for you. Do the same thing on this side. Turn your hip and toes down. Weights touch or hands touch, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. And lift if you want. Just a 
couple more here. Now let's hold it. Right here, nice and even for four, three, two, one, and bring it down. Step it awesome. <laughs> Big shoulder rolls here. All right, so now let's go ahead and kind of even everything out with our squat and shoulder press. So we're gonna open up through our feet. Again, we just want about hip width apart, maybe a little bit wider shoulder width apart. You can stand as tall as you can. We're gonna curl it up, open up your arms and keep that nice strong W where your elbows are forward, your hands are back. You get that nice groove into your shoulder blades. All right, so we're gonna go down for three pulses. One, keeping those knees lined up with your ankles. Two, three, press it up. Draw your belly in and make sure that you're not leaning back at all. So get that nice core engagement right here. Okay, let's bring it back down. Three pulses. One, two, three. Keep looking at those knees, especially in the beginning to make sure they're staying lined up. And press. One, two, three. Press. Just a nice light grip. One, two, three, and press. Good. Keep this rhythm going with your breath. See if we can go a little lower. Okay. Feeling your posture nice and tall. There we go. Just three more. One, two, three. Lift. Keeping your neck nice and long as you go through your squat and press. Good. Now we're going to hold it up. Okay. Let's go ahead and face the palms towards one another. Optionally bring the weights together to make it easier for your overhead tricep press. Or a little more challenging, you separate them. Try to keep those elbows nice and close and getting that full range as best as you can. Balance challenge, lift up one foot. Inhale, exhale. All right, let's switch legs. Breathe in, breathe out. Excellent, let's do the last one and bring it down. All right, from here, we're gonna go into our bicep curls. Now you can either keep these one weight and bring one down, or if it's easy for you to hold on to two, we'll make it a little harder here. Let's go ahead and actually hold on with our right hand. We're gonna go into our curtsy lunge, and we'll go into, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and just take one, okay? Because I don't want anything too heavy. Let's actually go into our curtsy lunge and we'll go right into that oblique dip, okay? So one light weight, or honestly, you can just do it with no weight. So with our weight in our right hand, we're gonna bring our other hand on our hip. Nice long arm, tall posture. Let's curtsy lunge it back, okay? We're gonna come up, curl it, okay? So just nice and simple right here. Now really try to use that front heel to do most of the work and then squeeze your glute when you bring it up. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. That's it, keep this rhythm going. You just have three more. And two, and one. Okay, now reach it up, palm facing forward, knee drive. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Bring it down. Now let's just go into a nice open plie here and we're just going to do our calf raises, our releves. Just hold on to the weight. There we go. And let's do five more right here. Five, four, three, two, one. And bring it up. Toes forward. All right. We're going to switch it up to the other side. So breathe into curtsy. Exhale, lift. Three more. Keep that chest lifted. Let's bring it up. Good. Add that nice little lateral flexion to get into those obliques. Four more. Three, two, one, excellent, and bring it down. All right, so next we're gonna go into our warrior two lunge with our rear delt move. So we're gonna open up, 
Turn your right foot open, left toes forward, get those hips nice and square. We're gonna cross our arm over, so we've got that nice stretch through the delt, and then we're gonna come up and engage it. Feel how it wraps right into your back, dropping the shoulder down, okay? So again, we cross it, and we open it. Cross it, open it. So we're getting that internal and external rotation. Meanwhile, we're getting all this great stretch into our hips. Last two. Last one. And release. Good, other side. So warrior two, cross it over and open. This rhythm going. We have four more right here. Last one. And release. Bring it in. Good. Let's go ahead and step it in. All right. We're going to go ahead and bring it down to the mat. We're going to continue to use our light weights. So this is a great opportunity for us to grab another sip of water. All right, we're gonna lay out our mat. All right, so let's take a moment here once we bring ourselves down. And again, hit pause if you need to, if you just need a little bit more time to get some water, or I should be wiping off my sweat here because I'm definitely getting a little sweaty. I hope you're feeling warm as well. We're gonna go ahead and just stretch it back into child's pose for a moment. Just inch those arms forward. Let's take a deep breath here. Getting that gentle press down into the arms, the hips, the back. One more. And now let's go ahead and round it up. Look at your feet. Line up your feet with your knees and your knees under your hips. Dropping those shoulders with the firm press. Good. And open into cow. And into your neutral spine. All right, from here, we're gonna go ahead and grab our weight. Okay, we're gonna do one more round of some triceps. So I'm gonna go ahead and have you take the weight into your right hand. Okay, we're gonna lift it up. So here's your first part. We're gonna be holding this up, trying to stay really centered without letting our hips sway or anything change. Now, if you wanna add a balance challenge, cat two, keep those hips squared, keep that elbow up and lift. And again, you can just do the same move here. So very similar to our warrior three, but now we're on the ground. Now, if you wanna add that tap as you bend and lift, again, that's your next challenge. No movement through your back. It's keeping that nice, tall posture, belly in, and you're tucking your tailbone. Let's do four more right here. Four, three, two, one, excellent, and bring it down. All right, we're gonna do that same thing on the other side. Okay, so we're holding on with our hand, pushing away to get all that nice stability in neutral, and lengthen out that opposite leg if you're going to do that part, lift and extend and raise the leg if you're adding that as well. Just take your time. And mindful movement is way more efficient than just doing a bunch of reps fast. I really only like to do like eight to 15 reps. And that really helps just to make you really focus in on the move you are doing versus just the amount. Put that energy into what you're doing. Your head shining away from your heel, that press into your hand and every fingertip. Now again, let's just hold it up. Feel that strength, feel that energy within you. Breathe in, and as you breathe out, release it down. Excellent, let's go ahead and bring that weight off to the side. Stretch it back again. Breathe in, and breathe out. And now from here, we're gonna go ahead and bring ourselves to our side. 
And if you need to, you can fold up your mat a little bit. We're gonna go into our side plank. So let's just start with a nice little mod. Okay, you're gonna stack your knees, stack your hips, get your forearm underneath you, and we're just gonna lift, okay? So your goal is to stay in neutral and lift up from your side. And this nice little press into your forearm and elbow, keeping all the release of this shoulder drop down into your back. Now, next level, you're here. Side planks are one of the best thing you can do to strengthen your back, to strengthen even your glute minimus, nice supporter. And then of course our staggered leg side planks. You can have one leg forward as your next level. So again, just keep your shoulders and your hips as stacked as you can. Let's do a few more. See if you can lift higher. And three, and two, one more. Hold it, lift it for four, three, two, one, and lower. Go ahead and bend your knees. Give yourself a side stretch. That's it, one more. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's go ahead and release. Let's switch to the other side. So you can just flip your feet around if you want. And give yourself the support that you need. Again, go either into your bent leg, bottom leg bent or straight, or back into that staggered leg. Okay, so yeah, just create that balance on each side, whatever you chose, and keep your head reaching away from your feet. Inhale down, exhale up. Again, if this is hard for you, just do it a little shallower. You don't have to go all the way down, but it definitely makes it a lot more challenging. Listen to your body. Listen to your breath. Good, just a couple more. Okay, let's do one more, one more right here. We're gonna lift it up, hold it for three, two, one, and release. Woo! Let's go ahead and give it a little stretch. And I am literally like dripping right now. So I'm gonna go get a quick towel. I'm gonna meet you on your back. We're gonna hug our knees into our chest and just give yourself a nice little stretch here. All right. So again, yeah, we're just gonna draw our belly in, knees to chest, and a nice little rock side to side. And just take a moment to take a couple breaths to settle your body into the mat. And now hugging the knees in, root your shoulders, and then we're gonna go ahead and plant our feet down. All right, so we're just gonna do a little bit core now. We're into our core segment. We've certainly been activating the core during this entire workout, but we're not gonna use any weights right now. So again, just having that freedom of just your body, your mat, your breath. So take a moment, bring your arms to your side and settle your body nice and as even as you can into the mat, feeling that connection. And let's take a deep breath in. And again, just keeping your shoulders and neck relaxed. Breathe nice and wide into your ribs, into your lungs, a lateral breath. And then feeling everything drawing in towards your spine, towards your navel as you feel that gentle imprint. Let's do that one more time. Deep breath in. And full breath out. Again, feeling that scoop through your belly and all that support that you have available to you anytime needed. Now with our arms to our side, that strong core, long neck, we're gonna go ahead and just press our hips up. Again, get that nice stretch here, right into your quadriceps, your hip flexors, and we're just gonna tap it down and lift it back up. That's it, just nice, simple hip bridges are so good for stretching out the back, helping to stretch your whole front body. And we're just going to do a few more here. Give an extra little squeeze at the top. And let's do one more. Good. Now we're going to go ahead and hold it up. Good. Now lift up the left leg and lift up the right leg. Try not to let your hips move. Marching bridges. Now start to flex your feet and feel all that stretch into your heels, into your ankles. 
Now let's hold our right leg up. Okay, get that lift of the hips, reach your leg out, bring it in. Now try not to move your hips. Good, now just hold it up. Good, now tap. Lift, point your foot. Flex and lower. Point and lift. Flex and lower. Point and lift. If this is too intense, bring it up a little higher. Just a couple more. Now hold it here. Flex your foot again, hold it. Lift your leg up for four. You lift higher, three, higher, two, lengthen, one, bend your knee, bring it down, okay? Now lift the other leg, oh, that feels good, gets a nice little stretch, flex your foot, reach it up, one. Line up your hip, knee, and ankle, two, three, four, let's do one more, five. Now you're here, you've got pretty much knee to knee, but certainly lift higher if you need to. Tap everything down as one piece, lift up and point your foot. Flex and point. Flex and point. Just a couple more. Okay, now we're going to hold it, flex it, lift it, reach it with the point for four, three, deep breath in, one, and release. Let's go ahead and find that nice even press. Heels lift. Now roll it down nice and slow and release heels down. Awesome, let's draw our belly in into imprint. We're gonna lift our legs up to our 90 degree angle, dead bug. We're gonna lift up through our arms. Feel that grounding and nice flat connection of your shoulder blades down, your back is down, your hips are even. Let's breathe into prep. Exhale, right leg, left arm. Left leg, right arm. Inhale, center, exhale, reach. So just feeling that stretch in opposition, meanwhile keeping our torso nice and grounded and stable. Inhale and exhale. Breathing in, breathing out. Got four more. And three, and two, and one, excellent. Now bring it back to center, hands back behind your head, tuck your chin. We're going to lift it up and just go right into our oblique crunches and get that rotation through your upper body, all that stretch through your legs. The lower the legs, the harder it is for four. And three, two, one. Find your center, pulse it. 10, nine, eight, seven. Optional challenge, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it, one. Lengthen either here or here. Open for four, three. Hollow abs, two, one. And release. Knees to chest. Ah, we are all done with our core. We're just going to do a quick little stretch. I hope you're feeling great. Ah, got a nice sweat going and just feeling connected to your body, connected to your breath. So let's ground our feet, ground your arms to your side. Breathe in and breathe out. Scoop, tuck, and lift. Let's get that nice stretch here. Inhale and exhale, track it down. Then bring our knees in, tuck your chin, lift your head up, do a nice little rock up. We're going to roll off to the side, go ahead and bring it to all fours, inhale cow, exhale into your downward facing dog. This is such a great full body stretch, so let's take three deep breaths here. Inhaling, rolling your hips forward, sit bones up cow, exhale, press into your edges. Then you can bend your right knee, straighten out your left. And switch. And then find that nice edge here. Balancing. Inhale. Exhale. And slowly release. Let's go ahead and bring our knees down. And we are all done. Your workout is complete. I am so happy you joined me today. I hope you're feeling great. I'd love to see you back here again so we can work out, move our bodies together, so we can continue to shine.